The iPhone 12 Pro Max is now on one times mode, and the Insta360 is on Pro Video. Mm. <coughs> right, so today we're talking about the Insta360 Go To. And it's what you can see now. <laughs> it's a fun little camera, you can basically stick anywhere you want. And it comes in at $300. I'm gonna tell you straight off the bat, absolutely no lies, this is my favorite vlog camera as of right now. By far my favorite vlog camera because it's so convenient. And having a vlog camera, be convenient is no doubt the best thing I can possibly think of because if it's not convenient, I don't want to take it with me, but this thing I can basically take everywhere. This little monster can film in 2.7K at 18 megabits per second. It has a 35 millimeter equivalent 11 millimeter focal length at f2.2. The ISO goes from 100 to 3200 it's got USB-C and it has a 32 gigabyte internal memory space thing for all your funky videos that you're going to record. The smallest action camera in the world, 26 grams, it's pretty damn amazing. Let's talk about the ugly first. It's white, it should be black. All professional cameras are black. Whenever you go on a film set, you should be dressed in black so you don't reflect. It's white, it reflects. Insta360, please make the next version black. <sighs> the next thing, workflow. It's a bit of a pain, because you have it on your camera, then you either edit it in your phone, or on the Insta360 desktop app, and then you put it into Final Cut or Premiere, or whatever you, you know, DaVinci, whatever you edit on. I wish that middle bit wasn't there, but I do understand it's gotta be there, because if you have the 360 degree workaround, you gotta use it. If you use the Pro Video, where you've got this sphere that you choose your frame from, you've got to use it unfortunately. Those are the two downsides, but you get to live with it. The white thing, they can fix. The workflow bit, not too sure. So $300 for the world's smallest action camera. Yeah, it's worth it, it's worth it. I mean, the iPhone 12 Pro Max or the 13, whatever now it is, it costs a thousand plus dollars, it's expensive. This costs $300, it is. Tiny, I mean like, look, that's my hand, that's how small it is. It's tiny, it fits in your pocket, and it weighs 63 grams. If you actually take the camera out, this thing weighs 26 grams. Look at it, look how tiny that thing is. I mean, it is minuscule. If you can say a camera's minuscule, this is the camera that's minuscule. This charging case is fantastic. Not only is it a charging case, but it is also a mini tripod. So you're round about and you're like, Boom. Not only is it a charging case, a mini tripod, but it is also a remote. So you've got this little buttons here that you can use it because when you take the camera out, it has a button there and it's got four different things. Tap, double tap, press and double press. I hate them all. So I've changed every single one of those, which you can do via the app to pro video. So whatever I do, it turns on pro video. Thank God for that, because remembering what all the different, thing, different things do or pressing them by mistake was a pain in the ass. I wish the next version had a tiny little screen just so you could see what the actual preview, a little, it could even be this big, just to see the preview, because most of the time I will open up the app, I will go into the app, I will press it, you'll have to go into connect where it has to connect with Bluetooth, which will take a second as you'll see. Then it will ask you to join, so join, there we go. And when it's done that, you can actually connect to it, get a preview right there. And this should be you guys over there, so you're probably looking really, really good, there we go. So this is the preview, this is what it looks like, I just get my face out of the way, there we go. It's pretty much got very little lag, this is me, how you doing? <laughs> so the point of the app is that, I will take my camera out, I will attach it to something, for example, this up here, and I will position it, you know, just a little bit down, 
a little bit up so I've got the perfect view, but I have no idea what it is. That's why I use the app to get the perfect view. Otherwise, I'm filming blind, which as we all know is just silly. That's okay for a 360 camera, but for a camera that has a view looking in one direction, you gotta know what you're filming. So the app comes in handy. Now, accessories, fantastic accessories. You've got like hat accessories for your, you know, YouTubers. <laughs> You have the remote charger and case accessory, which is fantastic. We have the case, which I picked up myself just because I like everything in there nice and neat. And it all does fit in here with every single mount. So that's perfect. It comes with like a GoPro mount. So if you're doing some really hardcore shit, you stick it in here, clamp it down, and that is not coming out no matter how gnarly you get. That's pretty good. It has a three quarters, three quarters? A quarter 20 accessory that you just slam it in. It is magnetic by the way, so ding, it will stick to anything metal. This is another one with the GoPro feet at the bottom and by far the best accessory out there is this one, which has got sticky tape on the bottom. You clean it off, stick it to anything, stick your camera in there and boom, you are away. With pro video mode, you can actually have it like this and it will still be straight because you can choose the frame afterwards, which is fantastic. Now, I did use the sticky on my car and it does work very well. Check out this footage of me blazing it, blasting it, going like crazy through Wuch Fabrichna. This stuck to the top side, bottom left, next to the wheel, everything, it did not fall off. The magnet held in nice and strong. Check it out now. Pretty cool, huh? Has also this ugh, accessory. Let's clean up this space, which is the pendant accessory. Fantastic thing. You put it under your shirt and you put it on there. But as most of us have black shirts, because we're YouTubers, we have a white camera. We would like it to be inconspicuous. Make it black next time. The pendant's cool, but if you kind of run, it might do that. That sounded funny, didn't it? Pendant is great. So yeah, fantastic camera, magnetic, will fit in every single orifice, hole, place, everything, even goes underwater. Four meters underwater and it's got something called AquaVision 2 in the app. You press it and it magically changes your colors from fugly to beautiful underwater colors, which is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> The lens is removable in case you smack it somewhere. You can buy yourself a new lens, which costs, I don't know, like peanuts, and you can put it on, which is really, really great. This lasts 30 minutes, charges 30 minutes. The case lasts about 130 minutes, charges 60 minutes. Put it in the case, and this thing is charging. I mean, they, they have thought of absolutely everything. Now, when it comes to the molds, this guy has a few modes, so it's got video mode. It's got pro video mode, which has flow state stabilization and reframing and horizon leveling, which is absolutely fantastic. It's got HDR video. It's got time-lapse, time shift up to six times. slow motion, which is in 1080p at 120 frames per second, and photo in JPEG and RAW. Now, you can change through different color profiles. You have log, which is just desaturated, and it's made for, you know, editing afterwards to make it look all pretty. You've got vivid, which is just crazy saturated colors, and you've got standard, which I use because I don't want to faff about. Later on, I'm gonna put it in my computer, edit it, check, 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 get it out, go home and chill. 
with the peeps at home, you know how it is. So film in standard. If you really want a quick edit, film in normal video mode. It's got basic stabilization, but if you really want to get that thing crazy, because you can basically take this, you can film it, and it doesn't matter how you're holding it in pro video, you're doing this outside, it will be level. It will be just straight as it gets. In normal video mode, it will be like this, unfortunately. But in pro video mode, you're just going crazy, and it's just like this, and you're just doing this. Absolutely incredible stuff. Stabilization is insane. Let me compare it to the iPhone 12 Pro Max right now, just walking normally so you guys can get a feel of what the stabilization is on these two compared to each other. Right, so here we have the Insta360 Go 2. Here we have the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Let's clap these guys in. And let's go for a walk and see what the stabilization looks like, huh? So this is me casually walking and um, yeah, I'm, I'm moving my hand a bit. I don't know how the audio is. This is the audio on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This is the audio on the Insta360 Go 2. And I'm just casually walking around seeing what this looks like. Now, if I turn the other way and go for a run, let's see what that looks like. I'm holding it with one hand and it's bouncing around a little bit so I don't know which one looks better maybe the left or the right right we're gonna flip it around the other way now and see just how smooth I can hold it doing the ninja walk now this here is the ninja walk there we go and now this is gonna be me running as you can see in the reflection. So I'm guessing which one of those was smoother. Let's go back to the studio and check it out. Now the audio does sound good on both of them. It's a fantastic little tool. And for $300, I think it's an absolute awesome bargain. It's something I can stick in my pocket, go out there, film anywhere, stick it in on, in, around, everything I possibly want. It's a tool that can do awesome stuff, including almost be like a pro lens. I love the pro, check, 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 check this out. This is this on the Moza Slypod E. That's almost like probe style, you know, Lau lens kind of stuff. It may not be the quality, of course, but it looks pretty damn awesome. And you can check out the Moza Instagram to see how I did that with a special tweak of the head. Anyway, it's got an iOS and an Android app, works perfectly. The app is just insanely good. Thank you. Insta360 for this. I absolutely love it. I will be dropping some more films with Delano tips and tricks and shit along the way. The selfie stick mm, is absolutely fantastic. It helps you get this, you know, long kind of view. Any questions, drop them in the comments below. I will be happy to get back to you. Affiliate links are down below. The subscribe button is there. It should not be red. Thumbs up if you did like my film. Double thumbs up down if you didn't like it. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm going to catch you soon.